What the heck is going <laughs> What is up guys, this is James, also known as the Minecraft Cookies, and uh, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So this is going to be episode 18 of my Minecraft 1.4 Seed Spotlight series. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'll have the seed at the top of the screen for you guys, and in the description for you guys to copy and paste. Now when we first spawn in this seed, you can see that we spawn in a uh, pretty decent uh, jungle biome here. And also you can see off in the distance we have a swamp biome, and it is a little bit uh, discolored. Um, because I have my Optifine uh, textures um, not loading correctly. But uh, yeah, so when you first spawn, you spawn here, and uh, you can see off in the distance we have a little wa uh, little uh, lava flow over there. And uh, what we're going to actually do is we're going to head over this way, and um, I will have the coordinates to everything in the description and on screen for you guys, um, so you don't have to worry about like me showing them on screen um, by hitting like F3 like this or something. So yeah, anyway, you just want to fly into this desert, which is over here, and you see we get a pretty nice little uh, river. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this river, and if we keep following it, you can see that it kind of curls around here, and uh, we're just going to keep following it. And off in the distance over here, you can see that we have a uh, desert temple, and then you can see we also have a village over there, which is spawning still. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check out what's inside this desert temple really quick. So, in this desert temple, I'm going to break on the side this time, instead of breaking right in the middle. And that was a weird lighting glitch there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop down here and break the pressure plate. And uh, we're going to check out what we get in our chests. Now, in our first chest, we just have some bones, which is pretty lame. Um, that's not even really that good. In our next chest, you can see that we have a diamond. So that's pretty sweet. We have a diamond. And I'm not going to get out the rotten zombie flesh, since nobody really likes that. And we have an iron ingot. And then our next chest, we have two more diamonds. So we have three diamonds so far. We have some more rotten zombie flesh, which I said I'm not going to get out, and I haven't got it out. And uh, yeah, in our next chest, you can see that we have some more bones. So we have 31 bones so far. We have some butter, and we even have more iron ingots. So we have a total of 10 iron ingots, three diamonds, seven butter, and 31 bones. Next, we're going to fly over to our uh, little desert temple here, or our desert uh, village, sandstone village, I'd say. And um, sadly, it does not have a blacksmith, but I do really like this one. And the reason is because you have, it's pretty much like a farming village. So you can see that we have a farm there, farm there, farm there, 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 and there. So we have a lot of farms, and we have like little uh, huts for each farm, and a well in the very middle. And then we have our uh, little housing over there with our church. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, fly over here. You can see that we have another jungle spawning off um, in the distance. And there's actually a stronghold over here. So I'm going to be trying to uh, find the stronghold without even uh, using the Eye of the Ender. And um, I've done this before. This is uh, my second time actually trying to do this. This is my first time recording and trying to find it. So hopefully I can actually find it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to hit escape really quick and just let all that generate. Look how fast that generates. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can uh, find it here. There's a little pool of water somewhere around here. It's not that one, but there is another one. And uh, yeah, I found it right down here. I'll put the coordinates um, right to this spot in the description and on screen. And uh, yeah, basically all you do is walk down here and uh, I'm going to get a night vision potion so I can actually see in this mess and spray that down, drop it. And uh, yeah. If we just go ahead and, oh my gosh, it got back in my inventory somehow. Get out. And uh, yeah, so let's just keep following this down. And uh, once we get here, all we have to do is basically loop around here. And then you can see that we have our stronghold. Now, I don't actually know how to get to the stronghold, but I do know in this chest there is a diamond, um, which is pretty cool. And then there's another iron ingot. But uh, yeah, I'm sure there's other chests in here. Je chests in here, sorry about that. I know there's other chests, and I uh, know that there is the stronghold. I don't know exactly where it's at because this is, like, super hard to get through. Um, maybe it's down here. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the seed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was pretty cool that there was a stronghold so close to the desert temple in the sandstone village. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys would leave a like and subscribe. But uh, other than that, guys, this has been James. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, my next video. Bye. Get to win the base, though.